hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to start our new aws service that is amazon athena amazon athena is a popular service so first we will try to understand what is aws athena we will try to discuss about the feature we will try to discuss about the pricing part and then we will try to do a practical so let us start to understand what is aws athena aws athena is a query service that makes easy to analyze the data for example, generally in AWS space, we try to store our data in a Amazon S3. Now suppose you have a requirement, you have to analyze those data. So what we will do with the help of the AWS Athena, we can write any kind of the SQL query and we can analyze the data. So that kind of the advantage we get in a AWS Athena. AWS Athena is a not a database or not a data warehouse. It is a design in a such a way you can write any kind of the standard SQL on top of your AWS S3 data. So that is the advantage we get in a AWS Athena. I hope you got it. What is AWS Athena? Let's try to discuss about the feature part. The first feature is the serverless. It is a serverless means you do not have to maintain any kind of the server or in infrastructure. Everything will maintain by the AWS. If any load is increasing, then everything will be maintained by AWS only. So that is the advantage we get. So it is a serverless. The second is it is easy to query also. We can write any kind of the standard SQL and we can analyze the data. Third one is the flexible pricing. So whatever the data you will scan for that only you had to pay a bill. So that is the pricing. The fourth one is the fast performance and the fifth one is secure. So it is a secure also. Now coming to the pricing. The pricing is like with per query billing you have to give. You can get started quickly and pay only for the data scanned by query you run. Suppose you are running a query and if it is successful then only for those query you have to pay an amount. So that is the advantage we get. You are charged for the number of bytes scanned per query. Means whatever the data you will scan only for those data only you have to pay a bill. Suppose and billing is also suppose you have scanned the 12 MB of data then also you have to pay an amount for the 10 MB so with a with a nearest uh, megabyte actually it charge suppose 12 megabytes you have scanned but you only have to pay for the 10 MB minimum per query suppose you have scanned 18 MB then you have to pay for the uh, 20 MB so that kind of the thing comes for the pricing let's start doing a practical and let's try to understand more so in AWS I will go to the S3 first let me create a bucket and let me try to store a data first so now click on the S S C. Let me try to create a bucket. Let me try to store it and then with the help of the Athena, we'll try to do a query. Click on the cre so cre bucket we have created. Let me try to store a data on the upload. Add files. Add this new one. Click on the upload. If I will show you the data. This is the data we have. We have a year column. We have a revenue. We have a profits. Let me open. So our S3 is now created. We have a data revenue.csv file. Now let's open Athena. Now let me open Athena. So in a search bar, search for the Athena. Open in a new tab. Once you will open a new tab, this particular window you will see. In a query bar, you can write any kind of the SQL query and you can query a data. But before that, we have to create a table. In the left side, you can see option right table and views. If you click, we get a two option. One is the S3 bucket data. Through that, actually, first we have to create a table from a data source. And the second is the glue crawler. So when we use a crawler, so it try to scan data and it try to create a table, right? So that table also directly we can use. So these two options we get. Before that, we have to do one setting. So come to the setting. Click on the manage. So whenever you will write a SQL query, it will try to store into the particular location. So that location first you have to specify here. So as of now, I am storing the query result into this uh, particular same bucket only. 
but a specific bucket you can create and in there actually you can store that click on the save so that is the first setting you have to do now come to the editor click on the table and views click on the s3 bucket so first we are going to see how actually from s3 bucket we can create a table so i am going to create a table name as a revenue revenue new revenue new this is the table i am creating after that we have to create a database so we will give the database name as a revenue db new this is the database name i am giving after that we have to select the data set path so the s3 bucket we can select and after that uh, we have to select the file format is csv and after that uh, the column details we have to provide so there are two way uh, one is the add column you can uh, add a column one by one from here and the second is from a bulk add column so i have a three one is the year one is the if i'll show you the data first i have a year revenue and the profits so directly one by one you can uh, specify or the second way is like add a bulk add column here you can specify year string let me give year as a string as of now year revenue is the particular table which got created now if you want to see this what you have to do let me add a new window click here let's try to query so how actually we write a sql query select star from that right revenue database name dot table name this is the table name now if i'll try to run this bottom you can see we have a year we have a revenue we have a profits so we are able to write a query so like that actually we can uh, write any kind of the query on top of the s3 as of now uh, in this video this much but uh, in a later video we'll try to do more practical and from crawler also how actually we can do we'll try to understand that